belongs, all belongs, down in the valley where a chemical spill came from the people living up on a hill. Live a family by the landfill with a hazardous foam and their happily glowing home belongs. It's supposed to be happy and happily. I'm tone deaf, so please pardon me. This is why my channel is not going to get seen more. But if you're my age, you may have remembered this amazing, very short animated cartoon, so to speak. Right? With name all belongs. I'm not used um, when you air on Adult Swim. And please pardon me if the sound gets all chopped up. But what you see here is a family with deformities slash disabilities. The one that has that huge wig. I don't remember her name. If I actually looked at this, we should have eons since I actually have um, watches from my mother back in elementary school. Her name is supposed to be Dan Lissy. Pickles. Okay, she's supposed to be a chain smoker. And then the one that has no arms nor legs is Bob. Okay, and then the Kadorian twins is Biff and Chip. I actually had a crush on them when I was really young. Um, when this first came out as an elementary um, boy, so to speak. And the one that has that huge whack a bump, so to speak. Even though it's not a whack a bump, but more like a huge um, zit is supposed to be. <laughs> If I can look this out clearly, it's supposed to be um, Beth, which is the youngest child and only daughter. And the main character that I the dumb now is Milo, whom I also had a crush on. Um, hey, hold on. please pray me for that. My map of this up. But the Oblongs used to air on Adult Swim back in 2001, and I was a six-year-old at the time, going on seven, if I remember. Well, I was actually barely six and a half. And let's just see when Adult Swim first... Um, aired and for anyone that is not an american it is a, a unique um cartoon channel for adults that would watch these amazing like sitcoms animated shows that would air at night and just to name a couple um space coast to coast harvey berman attorney at law and even mission hill my mother and i we actually watch all of those including baby blues <clears throat> oh pardon me i just burped because i was taking on some doritos earlier and what I really cherish about this show is how much it describes of the real life. What I mean by the real life is that the Oblongs, okay, they are a family that basically does their best to get by. Their house maybe seems a little big and all. However, though, they do live down in the valley and they live below the poverty line. And the hills are supposed to be the rich people that seem all attractive and just getting it by, you know, so easily. And not worrying about hiring to pay for medical bills and, you know, the electricity going out, etc. And seeing, like, the situation the situation I'm in currently, and yes, I do want my castle back really badly, definitely feel free to donate if you basically are able to and enjoy this, like, little review. That would mean a lot. If not, that's fine. It kind of describes of my life currently and yet back then. So to, to put in more perspective of the Oblongs. You got this boy, right? Which I don't remember his age because I don't know if they mentioned his age, which they don't. But let's just say he is like a, a 10 year old, right? Maybe 11. Maybe 10, so to speak. He's supposed to be known as a psycho, which I don't believe. He's my own theory here, based off of his appearance, because it kind of reminds me when I was young, right? He actually has AUDHD, which is someone that is. In the spectrum of autism but has ADHD and for having ADHD it's just when you're basically have a um, attention hyperactive um, deficit disorder it's when you basically can't stay still you get destructive easily and I was like that growing up even though I feel that I have ADD I, I still could get distracted but I'm not as hyper as I used to be. And for being autistic, well, there's just a range of being autistic. You're sensitive to noise, you're sensitive to touch. It's just like the, se the six senses, right? But sometimes you can't give eye contact to people and how you like certain interests. It does not always mean that we're, we're good at math. That's a stereotype, by the way. Same way of how people thinking that Japanese are good at math. Nope, not that's a stereotype, right? And basically for, for Milo, so to speak, he kind of reminds me of me. Growing up, I would always would jump off the bed and always rewind one of my favorite like scenes of like Chicken One when they had to 
um, escape Mr. and Mrs. Treaty from their farm just so they could actually live a full life until the effort that I would ruin the VCR and the tape would basically get ruined because we have it in VHS back then. I can relate to him, so to speak. And honestly, it's a shame that this, this cartoon does not get much attention because it does describe of how life is to this day for the ones that are not as fortunate. Give perspective of this, right? Pickles, basically, she supposed to have, I think it's some type of cancer, right? Because, you know, like when you don't have, when you lose hair, it's known for a sign of cancer. Right? You know, that, I don't think that's always the case, but as someone that does have cancer running in his family, it's really, really kind of shocking to think about this because of how much I do take um, cancer awareness serious. I don't want to say accept this because I don't want to accept any type of cancer. No. You know, there should be a cure for every cancer, right? And if I could actually read some of this in a Wikipedia page, okay? Basically, for Marlo, he's supposed to be afflicted with numerous mental social disorders, which I can relate, right? And even though he does envy the Hill lifestyle and wishes to above um, the comic status, he has a single hair that sticks up in his head, a screen in one eye, which also twitches, apart from stress, and often wears a shirt that says no, which is kind of funny because uh, someone that, even though I'm not diagnosed, but I know of the symptoms of someone that is in a spectrum, it's difficult to say no. And I really love Milo because of how caring he is with his friends and how he just does his best just to get by in school. You know, he gets bullied. You know, I still remember that episode of how he has to wear like a, a meat bucket or a bucket that has um, a, a picture of a ham on it because that's supposed to be the trend. I remember growing up in high school, I would always have to follow certain trends just to fit in because I didn't wear like... Basically, the clothes that I wore now because I had to blend in so that I won't get bullied and lose friendship, so to speak, right? So, basically, I can actually read more about this, okay? There was only 13 episodes of this that aired. Now, I think there were supposed to be five more, but the ratings did not do so well. They had to end the show really, really soon, which really sucks because it's, just, it's so good. And I, I don't understand why that Adult Swim just couldn't, you know, um, have more viewerships back then. Especially since the internet, well, there's no YouTube or Facebook that existed back then. You know, it, it's just really shocking to me. And just to share this, the first episode, which is named Miss It Love, had 2.16 million views. And then for the episode, which was really emotional about how when Milo cared for an injured Scottish Terrier... That got over 3 million views on And that was the most viewed um, episode, which is really shocking, because these views are not that bad. So I'm shocked that they couldn't continue any further. So basically, for me personally, right, this um, adult tune, so to speak, it does give you awareness of how families that do live below the poverty line do their best to struggle by, especially for ones that do have certain disabilities, even if that's mentally and, of course, physically. And basically, one of my favorite characters is Bob, which is supposed to be the father that is both leg and um, armless. And he is so caring, you know, to his family. And for Pickles to care for him and finding him attractive, even though he doesn't have the height and, and basically body, she adores him for his personality, which basically women should understand that there are some out there, well, they're not, not be six like over five foot ten tall or maybe not having a six pack if you want to cheat mistreat a man that way then you're not a woman you're just a wuss honestly i'm i'm, I'm sorry for that and sydney for men that wanted to mistreat a woman just because she may have um like a whack a bop on her head or she may have a, sp a speech impediment that may that also makes it of a wuss definitely not a man that's for sure right so basically for me personally my mother and i we used to watch this let's just say I think like once a week, you know, because it would come on around 10 o'clock at night, you know, there's not that many episodes. I, I miss watching it because I would watch it all the time. And it's just something that I basically felt so um, memorable because I thought this would be interesting to talk about this. And hopefully that I'm not um, boring anyone to death because I don't want to be the one that caused any accidents or any um, physical health issues because of my, my squeaky voice. And also for Mala's side here, since um, I grew up being a special ed all my life from the first to the eighth grade, watching how he has to go to a school with these kids that have disabilities, but 
he would say, God hates me. I feel that. I'm not religious, by the way. Because I've always feel that me being autistic, my life probably would be much more easier if I didn't have trouble socializing with people. And not basically being afraid of giving eye contact, which I cannot do. And also being taken advantage of, aka being a rape victim, right? Um, both times by other men in the past. I don't want to get into that. But honestly, it's just, it's so incredible to look back on this because of how much that these characters have these deformities. It's like how you will see in real life. And I met people that are obese, that basically are deaf. I mean, a really handsome, um, several French man. He was tall and he couldn't, he couldn't hear. But I do my best to communicate with him in like French sign language. Just for fun, right? He was really sweet, by the way. He was kind of hot. Just had to just share that. And also, a um, his name is Isaiah Costa. If you have not seen my New Year video, I definitely suggest that you do. If not, that's fine. He basically is supposed to be a rapper that lived in my state that doesn't have a mouth. It's really rare. I think one in a million people have that. I'm not sure, though. He was really sweet, and he gave me that card. And it's a shame that I lost it because it's supposed to be based off of the children's hospital. He was 17 at the time, and I was probably like 24, I think. And I was at Starbucks just doing some products or just for the house. And he just gave it to me. And he was two girls. When he wanted to order something at Starbucks, he was really sweet. I'm surprised he didn't, no one, like, he didn't give anyone else a card. He gave that to me because I look young. And I'm really short, so I take advantage of that. But the Oblongs is just something that I really would like to see that would return. Even though there's not many episodes. It's practically double as many episodes as one of my favorite animes growing up named Fudukuri, right? That only had, I think, like six. Yet, it did air on Adult Swim. I literally had a video of it. I'm not sure if anyone's interested because you could just search it up on YouTube, but it's a great anime. Plus, I had a crush on that boy when I was really young as well. He was hot. Plus, I think that's when I liked white boys at the time. And, excuse me, but it's a really, really memorable show. And it also used to air on WB, which is one of the networks we actually have here in the U.S. that went off the air or got canceled. It came out when I was a baby in 1995 on January 11th, which is hard to believe it was that long ago. It's when we actually had that Seeking Frog, um, if I remember, so to speak. And just to put more, more, um, I guess, in detail of the Oblong's characters, right? Marlo, once again, he is autistic and has ADHD or AUDHD. This is just my theory, of course, right? And for Pickles, which is the mother, she has, she's a chain smoker. She's addicted to, she, she's a smoking addict, right? And then for Bob, let's just say he has OCD, right? Because he likes to keep the place clean. And then Biff and Chip, whom I thought were hot back then, okay, that are the conjoined twin boys. One of them happened to be bi, and basically they would go on the trance, which I didn't know the contrarian trance would do that, um, just to give their privacy. I don't know how they can do that. If ever have any contrarian trance viewing this, feel free to comment if you basically do that with your twin, maybe, if you're dating someone. I don't know. And let's just say for um, Beth, if I if I remember reading her name um, clearly here, she's basically... I don't know. Something about her is just random. She she has a growth growing um, appendage out of her head. I, I'll, I'll like to say basically bump because she basically ate meat containing bovine growth hormones, where the heck that is. So for Beth, well, she says Beth. You know, and she just had a type of disorder. I don't remember the other characters, though, that are listed here. But that's just something that I missed back then. And not to mention with Ma's friends, which I'm not sure if I want to go into too long of detail. But basically, to explain more about the Oblongs, it's how the family, they cherish each other. Even though they do live well below poverty and, you know, they, they just don't live like in a great um, region of their neighborhood. And they get mistreated by the higher upper class or the wealthy just because... Of the way they're they're born, I can relate to that because I've been mistreated my life. 
And it's difficult for me to even form friendships with people and even having trust issues. I've been having social anxiety ever since I've secured a garden. That's not going to go away. I've always will. And I, I can't get rid of it. Honestly, some of us, they, we just have to live like people saying, well, it's explosive therapy. Well, I do get out my walk. I used to go for my walks every day, but I still got social anxiety. I have to wear earphones. Um, I would never, never would um, stop thanking Serena, the negative sensor. They gave me those $1 green earphones. They had to be green, too. Hint, hint. Um, that I would use just to distract me from people that were bothering me or anything for me, but then not rude about it. And this would basically keep me concentrated when I had to go from my walks to the grocery store. So basically the Oblongs, it's like a, I guess you could say a disability of a mental mess. And how inspiring it is for people that are born with disabilities or mental disorders. Okay, it does not define you as a human being, as long as you basically are not a murderer or whatever, <laughs> or just really, really rude to people, then it's just something that I just wanted to share. And please pardon me that is this my voice because I know people would click off, but if you have not clicked off and you enjoyed every single second of this, feel free to type the affinity symbol if you see here in the thumbnail. If not, I'll put it in the description so that you can actually copy and paste it. Or you can type in hashtag autism acceptance. I don't remember when autism um, um, acceptance month is. I'm too late to check that right now. But I just wanted to share about how much I deeply cared for uh, the show that my mother and I used to watch growing up. And it just goes to show you that even for the people that are less attractive can still be attracted by someone, if that actually makes sense. I don't know, that's just something I just wanted to add. If anyone has any disability, okay, or, I don't know, mental disorder, dwarfism, death maybe, I'm not sure if people, like, like if you could at least maybe hear, I, I'm not sure, or partially blind, I don't know. Wearing glasses, you know, that's not disability, but it can be, you know, I think glasses and guys are hot. Um... Feel free to tell you about it. And definitely feel free to subscribe if you want to encourage to get my house back before, well, someone takes it. By the way, one thing I wanted to share. If you want to look up where I live, right, do not share my address. Because I want people to know how much I do be careful for my castle. If you look up Dartry, Phoenix, Christown, I'll probably put it in the description unless I forget. Um, I did a review on that, on that Dollar Tree, and you would see where I live, because I just shared of, like, the apartment that we lost, and I really, uh, patu, patu, uh, patu, patu, uh, patu, patu, I hope I did it right, I know, I'm, I'm not, I, I can't do it, it's from Rose and, and Bruno Mars, right, you'll, you'll see where I lived, I hope that the, my, my castle's still waiting for me for a new owner takes it. Enough said. Infinity.